Hello, my name is Andrus Vaitsanavichus and I'm a PhD student at the University of Oxford. And it's my pleasure to present at the DL workshop my joint work with Dr. Ismail Silan, Professor Thomas Lukashevich and Dr. Enrico Malaysia on explanations for ontology mediated query answering in description logics. I would like to start by reviewing some of the existing work. So earliest work concentrated on explaining the consequences of the T-box, so-called ontology. And in particular, it has focused on explaining subsumption with formal proofs as explanations. So given some inference rules and the T-box, we provide a proof how this subsumption follows. And over time, different inference rules based on different logic calculus has have been proposed with different benefits. Later, axiom pinpointing came about, where given that the T-box entails some axiom, we want to find a minimal subset of that T-box that still supports the entailment of that axiom. And later works considered complexity of the problems associated to axiom pinpointing, in axiom pinpointing. So those works are very close in nature to ours. And finally, there's been some work on explaining query entailment, which is the subject of our presentation. And some older works provide the proof-based explanations, giving a sequence of query writings. And some later works adopt adopted the ideas from axiom pinpointing. And this particular work is for existential rules, and our work is in description logics, but very similar to in flavor to this one while techniques are different because of different ontology language. So now we give a brief overview. We say that an A-box entails an ontology mediated query, which is a query together with a T-box, if and only if for all models of this uh, knowledge base, A-box and T-box, we have that in that model the query holds. And now, what do we mean by a minimal explanation or a minix? A minix is a subset of the A box which entails the ontology mediated query and is subset minimal. There is no proper subset of it entails the ontology mediated query. Okay? So now, let's illustrate this on the example. Suppose we have fault diagnosis. We have seven parts, and for example, fault in part one would cause overheat, fault in parts 5 would cause leakage and noise. And we would like to capture this system. So in particular, we can capture the parts that might fail in the A-box. We can capture what parts cause what failures. So for example, part 1 causes overheat. And finally, of course, A-box is a union of the two. Then the T-box captures that if a part fails, then we observe the corresponding failure. And finally, the query tells us that these three failures are observed and the structural facts encoding the system are present. So by construction, we have it. E is a minix for ontology mediated query if and only if it corresponds to a minimal subset of part, parts that justifies of the observed failures, explains them. So. For example, fault part 1, fault part 5, together with structural facts, is a minix because we can't remove anything and still all of the failures are explained. Not all minixes are of the same size. For example, fault part 1, part 4, part 6 explains also all three failures and none of them can be removed. On the other hand, if uh, an explanation is not minimal, it's not a minix. For example, here, part 4 can be removed. Or some, of course, subsets just don't cover all of their failures. Like in this case, overheat is not explained. So we consider computational problems associated to this notion of minix. So the most fundamental one is recognizing a minimal explanation. This is a decision version of the problem of finding a minimal explanation, right? So given a subset of the A box, we want to determine whether it is a minix. Uh, so in this case, for example, E1, which is part 1, part 5, together with structural facts, is indeed a minix. While fault part 1, fault part 4 
is not a minix because it does not explain leakage, right? Another fundamental problem is all minix. This is a problem of recognizing a set of all minimal explanations. That is a decision version of a problem of constructing all minimal explanations. So in our case, we have it, there are six minimal explanations, and this is indeed the set that would be accepted. And another problem is minix rel. This problem asks whether given a particular assertion in the A box, is that assertion in some minimal explanation? That is, is this assertion relevant for explaining the entailment of the query? Okay, so in this case, for example, fault part one is relevant because there is an explanation, a minimal explanation that contains it, while fault part seven is not relevant because there's no explanation that contains it. So now we just give a brief overview of query languages and introduce the description logic that we will use in some of the proof illustrations. So we consider two query languages, instance queries, which is a simply concept assertion, and unions of conjunctive queries, which is a disjunction of CQs, which is a conjunction of atoms where some of the variables are existentially quantified. And the description logic ALC uh, allows concept to be constructed by using top, bottom concepts, also conjunction, disjunction, negation, universal quantification, and existential quantification. Now we move on to the our main contribution of this paper, complexity analysis. We just uh, review a small fraction of the results provided in the paper, so we encourage uh, you to look into this paper in more details. So all of these proofs, of course, depend on the complexity of query answering. And in particular, now we will look into ALC in data com complexity, where uh, entailment is co and p complete. So the first problem is is minx, and we show that in that case, the complexity is dp, uh, where dp is a conjunction of np and co-np. Now we just show membership result, while in the paper we provide also hardness. We show that is minx is in dp. So to decide is minx, we need to check that a given subset of the A box entails the query, and no proper subset of it can entail the query, okay? So we can check entailment in co and p, and checking that no proper subset entails it is equivalent to checking that removing any element breaks the entailment. And this can be done with a linear number of np tests, which can be combined as a single np test. Okay, so co and p and np test is a dp, is in dp. Now we concentrate on all minix, and we show that in ALC, in data complexity, it's PyP2 complete, where PyP2 is the class of problem solvable with co-NP machine calling an NP oracle. So first we show membership that all minix is in PyP2. To decide whether a given set of subsets of the A box is the set of all minimal explanations, we need to check that each subset entails the query and that each subset is minimal and there is no minix outside of this given set of subsets. So we can check entailment with a linear number of cohen p checks, and we notice that the other two tasks are equivalent to ensuring that there is no subset e dashed of the A box that does not contain any subset in our set that entails the ontology mediated query. So in our A box, we have our subsets, and e dashed might be a subset of one of our subsets and as it doesn't entail the query we know that each of our subsets is actually indeed minimal and the other option is e dashed is contains some elements outside of our subsets because it cannot contain any of them and this ensures that there is no minix outside of our set of subsets okay and the, the task of checking existence of such e dashed is in sigma p2 and we are interested in the complement task which is in pi p2 and indeed cohen p and pi p2 tests can be combined as a single pi p2 test 
Now we just give a flavor of the hardness proofs. Uh, I'm not going, going to go into much details. I encourage you to look into the paper. Uh, so to show that all minix in this case is pi p2 hard, we reduce for all exist free set, which is a variation of satisfiability. That is, given a free CNF formula phi x, y, where x and y are sets of variables, uh, is for all x exists y, phi x, y valid. So how do we reduce this problem to all min x? So we can capture phi in the A box. That is, we capture clauses as concept assertions and we capture uh, literals in these clauses as role assertions, and we have some extra assertions to capture assignments to variables in X. Then we capture satisfiability in the T box. That is, one axiom captures that at least one literal is satisfied in each clause. Some other axioms, given that the literal is satisfied, ensure that the underlying variable takes the appropriate value and another axiom captures when the assignment is inconsistent, that is, triggers unset. And we take the query to ask whether unset is triggered. Okay, so there are a number of ways that unset is triggered in a trivial way. And this set contains all of these trivial ways of triggering unset. And if this is the only way, only trivial ways are triggering unset, we know that there is no meaningful way of triggering unset that would correspond to the formula being not valid, that is not satisfiable. So if this is the set of all minixes, then indeed our formula is satisfiable or valid. So we summarize our work. So in addition to what we presented, we consider even more description logics. Uh, we consider one more problem, which is minix irrel, given a set of forbidden subsets of facts is there a minimal explanation that does not contain any of those sets of forbidden facts? And also we provide a complete analysis. Uh, for both data and combined complexities, we provide all the results for all languages, for all measures, both for instance queries and unions of conjunctive queries, and we provide both membership and hardness results. So we've just shown three results, but we provide a complete picture for all of these languages. So thank you very much for listening and feel free to ask questions. Thank you.